the satellites and the phones will then handshake very well to achieve high bandwidth connectivity. But the, the net effect is that you should be able to watch uh, videos uh, anywhere on your phone. For more than a decade, Apple has defined what it means to be connected. From the moment Steve Jobs introduced the first iPhone in 2007, the device has been synonymous with the internet itself, a seamless bridge between the physical and digital worlds. But even the world's most advanced smartphone still relies on an invisible chain of cell towers, fiber links, and carrier partnerships. That dependency might soon be broken. If mounting industry reports prove true, Apple is preparing to take the iPhone beyond the reach of terrestrial networks altogether. According to multiple leaks and insider briefings, the company is in serious talks with SpaceX, the Elon Musk-led space giant behind Starlink, to bring true satellite internet to the iPhone 18 Pro and Pro Max models scheduled for release in September 2026. The move would mark one of the most ambitious leaps in smartphone history. An Apple device capable of high-speed, two-way, always-on internet access, without a single cell tower in sight. It's a rumor that, on the surface, sounds almost too ambitious. But those familiar with Apple's long-term roadmap say the timing and technology have finally aligned. The company that turned the iPhone into the centerpiece of modern life now appears ready to untether it from the ground entirely. For years, Apple has been inching towards satellite integration. The first major step came with the iPhone 14, which introduced emergency SOS via satellite, a safety feature allowing users to send distress messages from remote regions without cellular coverage. That innovation, powered by Apple's existing partnership with GlobalStar, was limited, intentionally so. It provided minimal bandwidth, enough for location data and text, but not for browsing or calls. Still, it planted a seed. Each subsequent generation, the iPhone 15, 16, and 17, refined satellite capabilities for Find My and limited messages via satellite. But in 2026, if reports from Tom's Guide and Mac rumors are accurate, Apple intends to go several steps further. Instead of emergency use, the iPhone 18 Pro will reportedly feature full-scale Starlink connectivity, unlocking true 5G-class speeds through low-Earth orbit satellites. That leap would transform the smartphone experience in ways that are difficult to overstate. In rural Alaska, a farmer could stream YouTube tutorials while repairing equipment. On a cargo ship crossing the Pacific, crew members could FaceTime their families in real time. A mountaineer in the Himalayas could upload photos to Instagram without waiting to descend. For the first time, the iPhone would become a truly global device, immune to the limits of geography. The foundation for this rumored partnership was laid long ago. Apple's existing partner, GlobalStar, has been quietly supplying the infrastructure behind its emergency services since 2022. But the system was never designed for full internet connectivity. Starlink, by contrast, was built precisely for that purpose. SpaceX's constellation of over 6,000 active satellites already blankets most of the planet with broadband internet. In 2023, the company began developing direct-to-cell technology, satellites equipped to communicate directly with unmodified smartphones using standard cellular spectrum. Crucially, that spectrum overlaps with the bands Apple already uses in its iPhones. This technical overlap has reignited talks between Cupertino and Hawthorne. Rumors suggest that Apple and SpaceX have been discussing an arrangement since early 2025, one that would allow Starlink to handle the network layer while Apple integrates the hardware and user experience. The proposal reportedly gained momentum after SpaceX secured additional spectrum licenses in 2024, clearing regulatory hurdles that once made such collaboration improbable. If finalized, the partnership could be announced as early as mid-2026, aligning with the expected unveiling of the iPhone 18 Pro in September. The initial rollout would likely focus on North America and parts of Europe, where regulatory conditions are most favorable, before expanding globally in 2027. What would this new capability actually look like? 
The iPhone 18 Pro's satellite integration would differ drastically from the limited functions seen today. Current models can only send short messages via pre-formatted satellite packets, a feat that, while life-saving, offers little practical utility in daily life. By contrast, 5G over satellite support, the rumored upgrade, would enable full data sessions, web browsing, streaming, VoIP calls, real-time navigation, and app synchronization, even far from terrestrial coverage. In essence, it would make the iPhone a node in the Starlink network, dynamically switching between traditional towers and orbiting satellites depending on signal quality. To achieve that, Apple would need to engineer custom antennas and modems capable of maintaining a stable link to satellites hundreds of miles above Earth. Sources within the supply chain have hinted that Apple is already developing a proprietary communications chip designed to integrate both terrestrial 5G and Starlink connectivity seamlessly. The engineering challenge is immense, balancing power efficiency, heat dissipation, and the limited physical space inside an iPhone. But it's precisely the kind of problem Apple has solved before. The rumored Apple SpaceX partnership carries echoes of a courtship that almost happened years ago. Back in 2022, Musk's company reportedly offered Apple a sweeping deal, a $5 billion upfront investment, plus $1 billion annually in infrastructure access to integrate Starlink into iPhones. Apple declined, favoring its smaller, more controllable arrangement with GlobalStar. Three years later, the landscape looks very different. Starlink's network is now far denser, its technology more mature, and its spectrum rights far broader. Meanwhile, Apple's ambitions for connectivity have outgrown the limits of its current system. As one analyst told 9to5Mac, the infrastructure now exists for Apple to make satellite internet feel like Wi-Fi, not like a science experiment. This time, the business incentives align too. SpaceX needs partners to monetize its massive satellite grid beyond residential subscribers. Apple, on the other hand, thrives on ecosystem integration. A collaboration would let each company play to its strengths. SpaceX handling the orbital network, Apple controlling the experience, privacy, and hardware optimization. Yet the move would also signal a subtle but profound shift in Apple's partnerships. It would likely diminish GlobalStar's role or force Apple into a dual provider model, a complexity that could strain existing contracts. Moreover, telecom carriers Apple's traditional allies, may view the Starlink deal as a direct threat. After all, if an iPhone can access the internet anywhere without a carrier network, what happens to the carrier business model? For Apple's engineers, integrating Starlink into the iPhone 18 Pro would be a logistical symphony of precision. The company has historically prioritized minimalist design, making the inclusion of additional antennas or larger batteries an aesthetic and thermal challenge. Achieving satellite broadband inside a 7mm thin device requires groundbreaking radio components and an adaptive antenna array capable of tracking multiple satellites in low Earth orbit. Then there's the matter of power consumption. Satellite communication demands far higher transmission energy than standard cellular links. To offset this, Apple may lean on new silicon efficiency improvements from its next generation A-series chip and potentially a dedicated satellite modem built in-house. Recent patent filings hint at an advanced beamforming system designed to optimize signal directionality while conserving power, a feature that could debut with this model. Behind the scenes, the regulatory puzzle looms large. Every nation controls its own airwaves, and the notion of a single smartphone connecting to satellites that traverse dozens of jurisdictions introduces new legal complexities. From the Federal Communications Commission in the US to the European Space Agency, Apple and SpaceX would need to negotiate a patchwork of approvals. Nonetheless, the momentum toward global regulatory frameworks for direct-to-device satellite service, led by companies like AST Space Mobile and Link Global, suggests these hurdles are gradually diminishing. Even if the technology works flawlessly, one of the biggest questions remains, what will it cost? Today, Apple's satellite SOS feature is free, subsidized as a goodwill gesture and a marketing differentiator. But full satellite internet would be an entirely different economic equation. 
Industry observers predict Apple could offer it as a paid subscription, either bundled with existing services like Apple One or sold through carriers as a premium add-on. Carriers themselves may be part of the solution rather than the obstacle. Some analysts envision hybrid plans, where a user's standard data plan automatically transitions to Starlink coverage when they leave terrestrial range, with charges adjusted accordingly. Such a model could prevent the alienation of mobile partners while allowing Apple to market global connectivity as an extension of its ecosystem, rather than a replacement for cellular service. However, given the cost of satellite bandwidth and infrastructure maintenance, prices will likely start high, perhaps comparable to international roaming fees, before economies of scale drive them down. If Apple succeeds in delivering true Starlink connectivity, the implications would ripple far beyond its own product line. It would instantly grant the company a technological advantage no other smartphone maker could match, at least in the short term. Rivals like Samsung and Google are exploring similar partnerships, but none have Apple's integrated ecosystem or design discipline. For consumers, the benefits are straightforward but profound. Global coverage, safety, and independence. For Apple, the gains are strategic. Satellite connectivity would enhance everything from maps and fitness to Apple Watch data sync creating an always-on experience that extends the company's digital reach. It would also open entirely new markets, from maritime industries to developing regions with limited cellular infrastructure. Yet, as transformative as it sounds, Apple is unlikely to abandon its cautious, incremental approach. The company rarely introduces unproven technologies without years of quiet testing. Insiders note that the iPhone 18 Pro's Starlink integration, if confirmed, will probably launch in limited regions first, gradually expanding as the experience matures. The prospect of an iPhone that doesn't need a cell tower has already rattled parts of the telecom world. Analysts warn that if consumers begin to rely on satellite internet for essential connectivity, carriers may face an existential challenge. In the long run, however, most experts believe coexistence is more likely than conflict. Satellite links, while powerful, still suffer from latency, line of sight, and bandwidth constraints that make them complementary rather than competitive to terrestrial networks. For Apple, the partnership would also represent a philosophical statement. The company that built its brand on design and usability would now be venturing into the final frontier of connectivity, space, yet doing so in a way that hides complexity from the user. The beauty of Apple's vision, one analyst noted, is that you'll never think about whether you're on satellite or cell. It'll just work. Behind the rumors and speculation lies a broader truth. The convergence of consumer electronics and space infrastructure is no longer science fiction. With SpaceX's Starlink constellation operating at massive scale and Apple's iPhone serving as the world's most pervasive personal computer, their potential alliance feels almost inevitable. If the iPhone 18 Pro indeed debuts with full Starlink connectivity in 2026, it will mark the beginning of a new chapter in global communication, one where the limits of the terrestrial internet finally dissolve. The implications stretch far beyond convenience. For disaster relief teams, humanitarian organizations, and remote workers, such technology could redefine what reachable means. Still, caution remains warranted. Neither Apple nor SpaceX has publicly confirmed any partnership, and both companies are known for secrecy and shifting timelines. Engineering challenges, regulatory red tape, and economic viability could all slow progress. But even the plausibility of such a collaboration underscores how close we are to the era of true global connectivity. In the end, the story is not just about the iPhone 18 Pro, it's about Apple's relentless pursuit of control over every element of the user experience. From custom silicon to proprietary software, from AirPods to Vision Pro, Apple has spent years closing the loop between hardware, software, and services. Bringing Starlink into that circle would be the ultimate expression of that philosophy. Imagine unboxing an iPhone that never loses signal. Not on a mountain peak, not in the middle of the ocean, not even in the desert. That device would complete the vision that began almost two decades ago. 
an internet in your pocket that never disconnects. For SpaceX, it would validate the dream that Starlink was built on. A network that links humanity, not just nations. And for Apple, it would be another defining moment in its long history of turning impossibilities into inevitabilities. No official confirmation has arrived yet, but the groundwork is unmistakable. The skies are no longer the limit for Apple. If 2026 unfolds as the rumors suggest, the company that once put the world's information at our fingertips may soon put the entire world itself within reach, one satellite at a time.